Hi everyone, I'm James Blackwell's JB Commercial Finance here. It's Thursday the 14th of May. Apologies for the slightly different angle here. The sunlight's so bright this morning and I've not been able to sit at my desk. Um, at least this way you get to see some of my boxing memorabilia collection as well. Um, <clears throat> a couple of updates for you on the government loan schemes. Um, I've been keeping people up to date with regard to um, the performance of the relative banks on the business bounce back loan scheme. And um, while a couple of them have done really well, it seems, um, a couple have been a little bit more erratic. And Barclays seem to have acknowledged that this morning as um, they have announced that they will be giving some small compensation to clients who've had to wait over seven days due to their processing errors. I don't think it's a huge amount, but if you bank, if you apply for a bounce back loan with Barclays, it took a period of time. Um, I know a couple of people already have spoken to this morning who this applies to then it's certainly worth getting in touch with them or waiting to see what they do about offering some compensation. Certainly better than kicking the teeth. Um, some positive news with regard to the funding circle. Applications are now being accepted through them. I've been quite critical, not critical is the wrong word, but disappointed over the last week or so with their performance um, in this scheme. A lot of um, abnormalities, a lot of decisions getting declined. Um, they're now getting to acceptances of a, an acceptance this morning for the maximum loan they'll um, lend, which is a quarter of a million pounds. So that's brilliant news and hopefully that's a real game changer. And talking of game changers, at the moment you're probably aware that with the the Sybil scheme, the Corona Business Interruption Loan Scheme, which is the loans for 50,000 to 5 million pounds, um, uh, the banks are having to look at the trading history, which is fine, but also have to look at the long-term viability of the business as well, which is why the acceptance rates have been so much lower mm -hmm. and why the application process has taken so much longer. Um, and included in that has generally been the minimum amount of trading period that um, the business has to have gone. So through the funding circle, for instance, that's three years, which is not uncommon. Um, some of the new alternative lenders to the marketplace for announced are looking at businesses who have been trading a significantly shorter period of time. Um, a minimum of six months. So how they're going to be able to demonstrate viability, I'm not too sure yet. We're still waiting for details to come out. But one prominent alternative lender has come out and announced they will look at applications from a six-month trading history. Um, so that's really, really interesting news. And so businesses who have started maybe in the last couple of years have had some rapid growth and need that finance but have been turned down by either their bank or by someone at like the funding circle may have another option and we're expecting some development on that in the next week or two. So there's now 16 lenders on the bounce back loan scheme um, that increased yesterday. The likes of Shawbrook and um, Market Finance have been um, <coughs> accepted onto the scheme so that's growing um, and it's, all, it's quite positive really to be perfectly honest. So some good news there if you're with Barclays you applied to Barclays for the bounce back loan scheme and they've let you down on service get in touch with them if you've been banking you know less than three years and haven't been able to secure a Sybil's loan then hold fire there may be some developments there and if anyone wants any help with regard to applying for a Sybil's loan through the funding circle or another lender then please get in touch with myself James Blackwell's JB Commercial Finance have a great day everyone